here we have my custom designed box for the battery bank. Little ventilation intake holes, a hinged system. Here's the hydrogen exhaust pipe. And let's take a look at our batteries here. Here we have our battery bank for our solar. It's a 48 volt battery bank with 6,000 amp hours total. Each battery is a Centennial Deep Cycle L16 battery of 6 volts. Each of these cells are two volts a piece and it's lead acid so we'll need to add some water so I'm gonna step you through that process so we're going to top up the batteries with water and um, we're gonna use distilled water which is really important to do um, if not you'll damage the batteries um, I filled this little container, smaller container with actual distilled water instead. And when we're filling each cell, it's easier and we make sure we don't spill. You can see in there. Pretty hard to see, but it's a little low. So I'm just going to top it up just a little bit. Again, distilled water. Now if you have seen my other videos, you'll know that I uh, put something called battery demister oil and that floats on top of the cell of the water, it stops the sulfuric acid from coming out and basically makes it so only the hydrogen can escape and that's why we vent it through the back but it stops it damage to the plates if they're exposed to the air um, from not watering them not mixing them right so it looks like after a whole year they're only Well, only a little bit. So I'm surprised they haven't off gassed more. But uh, they haven't been fully used to the max. All right.
see the reflection of the liquid right there. That's the oil sitting on top. Battery demystified oil. You don't want it all the way to the top. And you notice like, this dips in a little ways. You want probably half an inch or more just below there. Yeah. That's all of them. They're in perfect shape. Completely maintenance. There's no buildup around any of the terminals. Everything looks good. I'm happy.